That is new information. Nobody has even mentioned that yeah. before. Yeah, most of these screws, see, they're not even, they're not even tight. My uh, fiance, Cherie, she doesn't like me going up and down this ladder because she said, oh, it's moving around all the time. Yeah, maybe after you're married a couple of years, she won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you're not only good at your job, you're funny. Care to share the worst manufacturing mistake you've ever seen? Oh, that's pretty neat. Look at that screw. Oh my gosh. This wasn't a COVID build. <laughs> this was uh, 2019. Wow. So I've likely been getting some water intrusion there? Yes, sir. Definitely in this corner. You know, I love to hear those words that we'll be in good shape for a while. <laughs> you don't always hear those words with an RV. Like we're just trying to get through the next year. <laughs> <laughs> trying to give you that warm, fuzzy feeling. <laughs> I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.live. <laughs>
Yeah, fill her up. <laughs> There's one spot that your old sealant had adhered is right there and that's it. Oh, wow. So this, see how easy, like the other corners, that all just peeled right off there. It's not adhered to your actual roof membrane at all. Wow. So I've likely been getting some water intrusion there? Yes, sir, definitely in this corner, because this one was, you could see down in there. Wow. And I'll stick the, I stick the tip right in there and try and get that filled right up. Does uh, this need a certain amount of time to dry before water, or is it? Uh... It's good to have a couple hours. Okay. Um, doesn't really after it's on a half hour it kind of skins up so it's got to rain pretty hard to mess it up after the first half hour but and, and we have another tech here with Milwaukee tools <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my son-in-law works at Milwaukee tools oh, does he yeah you can tell what the favorite is <laughs> well you can pretty much get everything battery operated now I've got battery operated table saws skill saws Wow. When I bought this, this is one of the best things I bought. My hand doesn't cramp up anymore. Oh yeah, that would, <laughs> that would be quite a workout doing a whole roof. Some of these roofs, the last age, you put 20 tubes down and your hand was oh, wow. done by the time. Oh, that's pretty neat. Look at that screw. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this wasn't a COVID build. <laughs> This was uh, 2019. I never know what you're going to find. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find when you take off the sealant? Yeah. <laughs> Care to share the worst manufacturing mistake you've ever seen? You don't have well, to name the model. <laughs> we had a trailer come in that the guy said when he was hauling down the road he could see it moving. They never actually attached the trailer to the frame. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst one I've seen. That. that. That's, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> I really like these oh, vent covers though. They're awesome, aren't they? Oh man, it came with them. So I don't know if that's something the other owner did or if they were standard or... But yeah, no, you know, worrying about like rain or something and... But the fantastic vent with the rain sensor was kind of cool. Yeah, I put the one <laughs> with the hood on there. Have you seen those, the deluxe? Um, this hood's part of the fan. Oh, really? So when it picks up, so that hood picks up. Oh, okay. It can rain sideways and there's no okay. water hitting in there. Cool. You know, I love to hear those words that we'll be in good shape for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you don't always hear those words with an RV. <laughs> like we're just trying to get through the next year. <laughs> trying to give you that warm fuzzy feeling. <laughs> Most of these screws, see, they're not even, they're not even tight. So the actual screws look like they need to be tighter? Yeah, we'll put some silicone on there. And then I'll go over these and see if they draw down. See how there's a gap underneath them? Yeah. We'll try and get some silicone in there. Well, yeah, this is something that my uh, fiance, Cherie, like, it's like, she doesn't like me going up and down this ladder. <laughs> Cause she said, oh, it's moving around all the time. Yeah. Maybe after you're married a couple of years, she won't mind. <laughs> Dave, you're not only good at your job, you're funny. <laughs> oh yeah, they're really loose. So they were actually loosening up? Yep, that one was really loose. Wow. So that's a reminder, you gotta check all your screws, nuts and bolts. It's surprising, just a loose screw like that and water running past it, somehow it funnels that water right down those screws. I don't know. Really? I think I'm ready to get off the roof though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at least uh, with this job, you don't need to work on your suntan, huh? No. <laughs> That's why you buy Milwaukee. Right? <laughs> That's uh, a testament to Milwaukee tools right there. <laughs> tossed off a roof three or four times a day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Membership campsite in the Georgia mountains, $20. Cheap RV internet, $80. Starlink internet with all of these trees, useless. As I promised, I'm jumping in here to give you guys an update on our cheap RV internet solution. That's right, we dumped our Starlink for cheaper internet. Our Starlink is safely packed away in the RV for that moment where we might use it, but that's been since last October and we have not needed it. 
We've been testing the HomeFi internet solution for months. And actually here in the Georgia mountains, out in what feels like the middle of nowhere, we are getting our fastest internet speeds yet. Look at this speed that we're getting down here. And as somebody asked for, this is the upload speed as well. It's doing awesome and this is without using a booster. And you can get this internet solution with all three carriers, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon all in the same box, starting at just $80 a month. But it's better than that. I can save you 20% off your first month of service using this code right here. You can scan this QR code. That will take you right to their website. So you can have some cheap RV camping internet. You can use it at home. It doesn't matter. Uh, we know not everybody wants to spend over $600 for equipment uh, like with Starlink or other services and pay $150 or more a month. There are no equipment fees with this solution. You get to use that router for no cost. I'm on my way up to Minnesota to see my very first grandbaby and I'll be testing this all along the way. Now I'm on to the next spot. Let's get back into the video. Yeah, they just put this on and I forgot my slick disc, but I got a, a new one to put on there. Yeah. So, but so yeah. You have, have you gold with us? Just, just from the shop that put it on to get here. Does it, does it seem to work good? Or oh man, I love it. it. It's like the greatest thing. I've been admiring these Gen Ys I've for been years. Them. I have, you're the first person I've seen that has one. Okay. Um, I know they make a really nice one for the back the, of the truck. Yeah, they've got a gooseneck uh, version as well. Yeah. But, oh man, uh, we were having all kinds of issues with uh, the previous one we had on here and it was too low and getting into the sides of the, the oh, bed of the yeah. truck. and But this is such a small profile. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so I can use the full maneuvering uh, capability of the F450. So, yeah. yeah. I was really interested to talk to somebody that had one of these. Yeah. I'd almost like to see about um, maybe I, selling them for them, but you know, it's not, there's not a lot of people that are gonna want it. It's to have an inventory of something that's expensive you know um well you can uh, become a recommended uh like dealer with e-trailer was we partner with e-trailer to get that okay. and that's how i found the guy that put it on because i don't that's probably a process to sign up with e-trailer but they like put you on their website so people can search oh. and they'll say okay well this this tech can install these and then they'll ship it directly to you and you know, or and you can bring it out to a park, or right. you know, and I'll install have to definitely it. Definitely look into that. Cause so they look like a really good deal. Oh man, I've been admiring them for years, and then I was looking out the back window, or looking out the back, maybe rear view mirror, and you could just see that thing bouncing up and down, and the freeway was so much smoother. And when you hit those uh, overpasses, yeah. It was way smoother instead of that big bounce, you know, that you get. Your air filter is not terrible. I can replace it if you want one, but it looks pretty good still. Okay, well, that's that's cool. Yeah, these Onan kits are nice. Yeah. yeah, that's great. So you got this kit. Is it directly from Onan? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to look for a link for that makes it a lot easier than having to try to find all the different pieces, huh? Yes. Well, Dave, you're, you're doing such an awesome job. We're going to end up giving you lots of business. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of your company again? It's D&G RV Repair. D&G. Okay, out of Arcadia, Florida. Yes, sir. We got a lot of viewers that come down here every, every winter, so... <laughs> That's good. We will put your contact information down in the video description as well in the pinned comment. I found the only RV tech in Florida that, that's actually looking for more business. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got five star reviews on Google. That's also a, a very extremely rare thing. 
Well, gosh, yeah, if you just drop off some business cards at some of these parks, man, the, is I've, I've been bouncing around these Encore parks down here and, you know, check in with the office and they give you the same people that I can't even get, like, a return phone call from yeah. some well, some people. It's nice because these things give you your filter numbers, your oil capacity, everything right on them, so there's never any... Yeah, that is handy. I need to set a reminder on my calendar to start it every month. Sounds good. So we figured out why I was losing oil in the generator here. The last person to change the oil had not put the filter on tight enough. It was actually leaking oil. Look at that. So you have a recommended product for washing your RVs. Yeah, I like to use Zeppo Shine. You can buy it in a gallon. Um, just wash it on there and then you rag dry it off and it leaves a nice wax coating on it. Helps the keeping the mildew spots off the campers. Yeah, that one of my recent washes I had to because yeah, the mildew buildup was was bad. It won't stop it, but it definitely slows it down. Okay. Grand Design put something in these to be able to run all three and start all three at the same time. I forget what it's called, so I haven't had any issues. I won't do that uh, running on solar and batteries, though. <laughs> hey, I have a couple hours of air and it'll be gone. Uh, yeah, well, I've only got a 3,000 watt uh, inverter, so might do two of them after I put the soft start on this one. But I put the RV Airflow into these things. Have you ever seen those? I've seen them. I've never talked to anybody that actually used them. Oh, man. They are... I forget. I checked each one. Uh, I checked the Airflow. I actually got the device to the check CSI it. Meter. And it was nearly a 50% increased Airflow. And I forget the percentage quieter. I was going to say so I wondered about the quietness. It's, it's more quiet. So it's yeah, good to hear that those work. I've not told anybody to use them because I haven't we, talked to anybody that did. We have a whole install video about it and definitely recommend it. So you said the 20 degree drop is yeah. what we're looking for. Yeah, it's 61. And by far the biggest expense, that leveling jack that went bad was covered by wholesale warranties. I've mentioned them before. I believe if you have an RV, you need an extended warranty like wholesale warranties because as you can tell rvs do break down and you don't want to pay for that out of pocket we are not done yet dave is going to be back again and install that new leveling jack and he finds even more hidden issues that you guys are going to want to see plus more diy hacks so Make sure you hit that subscribe button or scan this QR code. That way you'll be notified when that video comes up. But we have more great videos for you guys to watch right now. You can click on this one right here.